Violin Virtuosos with Rodney and Anthea Wickstrom. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for all strings related education videos. Visit our website violinvirtuosos.com.au and like our Violin Virtuosos Facebook page. In this lesson we're going to show you how to hold the violin bow. So first aspect today is to look at the bunny bow hold. So it looks like a bunny and it's placing the finger underneath two fingers on the other side and thinking on top which is nice and easy for the kid to understand. Um, one way Ronnie explains it which she's going to show you now. Um, so uh, we've got this uh, dot on the violin and uh, so going into a little bit more detail about the bunny bow hold um, put, the, put the ring finger on that dot and then put the middle finger next to it and then if the child's very young so maybe um, under, under six the thumb can go on the outside like that. Uh, if they're um, if they're older, then the thumb goes on the inside. All right, and that's quite a strange um, way to uh, hold the violin for a beginner. Um, but it's better if they get used to that immediately, and then uh, and then they'll be used to it. The next part is um, put the first finger on the leather part here, and then the pinky goes on the tip. So I'll just close up there. And also a very important um, thing to remember is that the student will likely, you'll want to put the finger through that hole, which is not the case. So I just want to close up what Ronnie said, is it's in that corner. That's very important. Okay. Um, so as we said, it's quite difficult to hold, um, to hold a violin bow. It takes um, probably a couple of months until students really get used to um, holding a bow in the right with the right bow hold. So there are actually um, some, some learning aids that you can use um, that can make it very easy. Um, the first one, the first one's probably um, this one. Um, now this is kind of like, it just slips on right over the top of it. It's called um, String, String Vision Bow Grip and uh, we'll put the link um, down below. Um, this one basically slips over. The good thing about this is it's actually got a little indentation for the thumb so it, it really helps the student to place the thumb perfectly where it, where it belongs. Um, and that, as I said it slips on, slips off, so it's quite easy um, compared to the next one that we're going to show you. And the next one is, the kids love this one because it's got a frog as you can see here, I'm just going to close up, a frog and a little fish. So they get that idea of frog and fish and with this one um, the pinky goes in the fish, the two fingers go across and it actually goes, the thumb goes inside the frog. So that's quite a nice comfy um, bow hold which we found a lot of people like that one more. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, this is from, um, I know this is made by Ruth Bronze um, in America. Her website is called thingsforstrings.com and I think we ordered this from the Violin Centre in, uh, in Chatswood. Um, and exactly the same thing, so the ring finger goes on that dot, middle finger goes next to it, the thumb goes inside the frog, uh, the first finger goes under the chin of the, of the frog, and then the, the pinky goes on the tip of the finger inside, inside the fish, so it's very perfect bow hold. And also it comes in many different colours, so lots of kids love it because they can pick their own colour. It's a fun and it's very comfortable, much more comfortable I find personally. Than yeah. the other grip, it yeah, seems uncomfortable to me. Whereas this one, um, it's just really just makes the hands sit. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect bow hold. Um, two things about this: um, you have to actually take um, you have to take it off to put it in the violin case, so that's that's a bit of a pain. Um, what I do is I just set up one of my bows um, in lessons, and the um, student comes in, and I just give them this bow, so it's already set up. I don't have to waste um, you know a few minutes putting this on, taking it off. Um, so that's that's one thing. The other thing is um, that students can come to rely on this on this bow hold. So um, that's why I think maybe it's good to use it maybe for a um, couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, not, not too long because then they just start to rely on it. So it's actually good to take it off and say, look, let's, let's, um, let's play a piece or let's have a lesson not using the bow grip and see how see how your um, hand is you know shaping without without the uh, the aid of of, um, of the, the frog and the fish and also there are many 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 different types of you know assisting bow hold groups and I'm sure there are many more that yeah. you'd like to um, got, um, recommend us down on the list down here one, one more as well um, we actually use in the, in the old days before uh, the uh, the frog and the fish 
I'm actually using these corn pads, yep. um, which are available from the chemist. They're great because they they just got like a sticky backing, and uh, we would just use two. Um, one would go inside here for the thumb, so it's like a little donut. Um, you just put your thumb in the hole, um, so one would be kind of like there, and uh, and then one on the towards the end of the the bow as well for the pinky. So quick, quick way to do it. Yeah, and and, and these these probably cost about a dollar each. So that's, I mean, they get a bit grubby they though. Get grubby, and yeah. They do fall off. So that's that's one alternative um, option. Um, all right. So just last thing about the bow. Um, you know, everyone's probably aware that it's made from the horse's um, tail, the, the hair, so, and um, to take care of your bow, try not to touch the bow hair because we've got natural oils um, in our hands, and uh, not that our hands are dirty, but the oil can, um, is, can get stuck on the, the bow hair and it can get a bit dirty like that. So this is a very old bow, um, so always wash your hands before you handle. Um, any instruments. And also when you wipe your violin, another important thing for students and for yourself is to wipe inside the bow here because rosin actually collects up inside so it's good.